What's up guys, I'm Lovrinja Gaming and this is another Rage Shadow Legends video. For this video I'm going to be showing you my team that I use to beat uh, Iron Twins Fortress stage 15 daily. Now, this team is all affinities and it has nearly 90% win rate. And the best thing about this team is that it features two fusion champions, uh, one fragment champion that you can obtain from Hydra uh, in Mitrala, and then you have the main man Geomancer and you have Aeok the Rememberer. Now, this team consists of uh, HP burn nukes by Geomancer and uh, staying alive and uh, yeah ensuring that we don't die by all these other champions now i'm going to jump into a run right here and i'm going to show you how the team works and then later on i'll be showing you the team presets and the champion builds that i have on each one of these There we go guys, that's a win for our team, as you could saw Geomancer and Aeox were nearly dead for the most of the second half of this battle, but nevertheless uh, because we have Brimstone on Mitrala we managed to beat this team. Now I should po point out that uh, the run you just saw it's uh, one of the worst uh, runs that can happen. I mean that's just uh, the RNG side of the things but yeah I'm now going to show you team presets and I'm going to show you the champion builds and I'm gonna run the team one more time so you can see the the real proper proper battle that they can give to this boss. Trala doesn't use her uh, seal of the toxic glory, sigil of the toxic glory because we don't need hex and it gives us uh, two debuffs, two buffs for our team and that boosts the boss's turn meter tremendously and that means that yeah we, we are most likely to die so she she just doesn't use her a2 she does use her cleanse in a3 and she opens with her a1 ensuring we get most points on the damage uh, in the battle then we're going to prioritize the a3 of geomancer and uh, He's going to open it with his A1 and we are just going to ban the A2 from using him because it really doesn't make any sense for him to use it since he can't strip any buffs and it just doesn't deal any damage so yeah A2 is banned. Now on Helicat we have no presets he just does whatever he wants that means he's going to prioritize his A3 and then prioritize his A2 and yeah uh, we just hope that he can he can uh, keep that block damage in tune so that the boss doesn't kill us with his big AOE nukes. Next up is Aeox, uh, he has uh, his A3 prioritized which is the decrease attack and decrease crit rate skill, very very nice skill ensuring that the boss doesn't hit very hard and ensuring that, that he doesn't crit uh, us but I just I 
I noticed that this decreased crit rate buff debuff wasn't landing on the boss. I don't know for which reason, but uh, uh, yeah. Oh no, it's it says in the skill places a decreased crit rate debuff on the target for two turns if they have 50% or more turn meter. Yeah, so. Since we can't uh, decrease the boss's turn meter, the decrease crit rate isn't going to land. But you stupid! No, not. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid! Nevertheless, the decrease attack is still very nice. And then he's going to second prioritize his A2, which is a heal based on the amount of debuffs that the target has, and uh, yeah, he's, he he also has a very nice passive. Uh, that's called Steward of Time and he increases the duration of two random debuffs on the attacker by one turn when attacked. Occurs once per hit, so because, of, because the boss hits multiple times, sometimes he can increase the, the count of those debuffs on the boss and hopefully he can increase the count of those HP burns that Geomancer uh, puts out there. So yeah, Alex the Remember, very very nice champion and very useful for this comp. And then we have the, the maybe the best fusion champion of all time in Pythion and he still does whatever he wants. He will usually prioritize his A2 which is a cleanse and then he has also a very nice uh, revive and a very nice A1. Uh, healing most and uh, reviving when we die. And yeah, I want to show you the sets and the stats that I have and masteries in these champions. So I'm gonna go into my champion collection. I'm gonna go over Mitrala first. She's in my all around build. She has 50k HP, three, uh, over 3,500 defense. She is quite fast with 266 speed. She has uh, a very good amount of accuracy in almost 500 and she has also some resistance and uh, yeah those two combined means that she has uh, somewhere about 900 resistance and uh, she is not getting very much very many debuffs on her i have the masteries i have on her are the support and offense tree leading me up to war master and we have master hexer to extend the duration of those poison debuffs. Next up is my Helicat, which I I use in uh, I was using in my previous clan, bolt, clan boss build, but now I have some artifacts moved around, and he's just now in a kind of okay all-around build. Uh, he has uh, good defense in 4000. He has uh, very nice speed in 246. He has some crit rate, some crit damage, and he has 300 accuracy, making sure that in other uh, areas he can land this that weaken on his A1 and that Brimstone. But in Iron Twins, uh, he's not landing those debuffs because the boss just has too much uh, resistance. Next up is my Python, which I use in Arena. He's in One Piece Token and Immortal. He's running a very nice 85,000 HP. 3000 defense, he's very slow in 154, he has 600 uh, resistance and uh, no accuracy. And I very much like this build, he's built in defense and support, he has extra resistance because I want him to be a resistance tank, resistance beast, since uh, yeah, I don't want him to get any debuffs or things like that on him, I just want him to cleanse and revive and heal. Uh, next, next up we have Aeox the Remember, which is a our debuff champion and he has 50,000 HP, 2,300 2, defense, he has uh, 237 speed, no crit rate, no crit damage since he doesn't need any, and he has 441 accuracy, maybe I can get it a little bit higher, but yeah, he still lands those debuffs on the boss. As you can see, I didn't finish. Actually, I nearly barely started any masteries on him, and I think in the future I will get those uh, fully mastered. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, I just didn't do it, and I think it's running just fine. And uh, next up is my Geomancer, who is actually in my vault. Let's get him out of here and let's see what he is running in. He has 
50,000 HP, 2,400 defense, he has uh, 241 speed, he has 500 accuracy and he is raking that boss apart with his HP burn. The masteries I have on him are also not finished and I have up to Master Hexer on the support tree ensuring that he prolongs that uh, HP burn and weaken debuffs that he places with his A3 and I have some in defense tree uh, ensuring that he I guess doesn't die and yeah guys that's gonna be it. The, that's gonna be the builds for this champions I wanna show you the team just one more time and yeah then we call it uh, the video There we go guys, 1 minute and 26 uh, seconds boss run, it's actually my best time and as you can see this is the best case scenario that this team can have against this boss. I think stage uh, 15 Iron Twins is uh, a very difficult area and this is a very obtainable and easy to build team for you that ensuring that you can farm those uh, soul coins I think they're called. Mortal Soul coin, yeah, never, never mind, nevertheless. And uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you liked, if you have any questions about this comp. Uh, post them in the comments, I'll, I'll make sure to answer them all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.